Welcome, chat members, one and all, to Steam Spin, where I clear out the backlog. Mm. Oh, we weird. My microphone cut out, sorry. And dig up some relics of Steam's history, some stuff that maybe I've had in my inventory for a while that, I don't know, they're just there. They're just there. So we're going to check out some of these games. I've got, oh boy, uh, what do we have here? We've got Ratu's Pineapple of pizza it's actually pineapple on pizza but we'll call it pineapple of pizza that's fine siphonopolis one day for ched extra lives titanic 2 orchestra for the dying at sea or for dying at sea crime scene cleaner demo super 56 projectile dysfunction splatter uncle nook's monster emporium gongo yes gongo the battle of angels jamestown courier frog md and forest adventure so some really interesting choices on the wheel today. Um, and my goal is to play, you know, at least a little bit of the games. Maybe like 10 minutes. Unless the game really has nothing to offer. Well, let's find out. Also, for the record, some of these games could be good. Some of them could be good. Some of them could be terrible. We won't know. All right, first choice is Extra Lives. Okay. I don't know what this is. Um Oh god, I think I know what this is. Yeah, I know what this is. Uh, hang on, I have to do some options here. That sounds like Stranger Things. Chad, it's an M. Dickey game. As I, I thought his name was Mick Dickey, <laughs> but it's M. Dickey. Uh, apparently there's a zombie survival game. Hang on. Gordon Cena. <laughs> it's all wrestling again. <laughs> it's always wrestling. Oh my God. Where's Bust the Blood Nut? I thought that said Salty Diaper. It did not in fact say Salty Diaper. Generating characters. Oh, it's different characters each time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wyatt Mackey is pretty amazing. Oh, he's got a Joker head. I've lowered this game three times and it's still incredibly loud. Hang on. Get that down to 20%. Name. I can't even actually name the character. Okay. Jonkler. Six foot five inches. What am I even... I don't- I don't know, chat. I don't- I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll go a little jonkly. It's 
always fucking wrestling. Darth, was that a Darth Vader helmet? Pretty sure that was Robocop. Wait, how do you go backwards? It won't let me go backwards. Oh wait, yes I can. Yeah, it's fucking Robocop. Judge Dredd? I don't... I don't know if there's a license for these. Well, a junkler needs a clown nose. As you all know, as we all know, this is a very important piece of the outfit. I'm fine with that. Oh my god. Oh man. How do you play this now? <laughs> okay, an arm is just completely gone now. It's the same game every fucking time. Oh, that was a zombie driving? I am now driving this car. Watch where you're going, Jonkler. An attack on one survivor is an attack on every survivor, Jonkler. We'll make you pay for taking Steve Cam away from us. It's always wrestling. Is that it? I see you're missing an arm, Jonkler. Do you believe I can make you whole again? Yes, fix my arm. God does not see your imperfections, and now neither will anybody else. Thanks. This is absolutely insane, as usual. Of course it is. Steam Speen starting strong this week. Where's the shovel? I, I would love the shovel. Jonkler, why are you lashing out at Anton Luger? You cannot destroy something with the same energy that created it. That sucks. Did I lose another arm? Oh wait, no. Thanks. Wait, how do you get the gun? I want the gun. <laughs> Hell yeah, son! I think I just shot, like, the Jesus. We pretend only we want to kill zombies, but it doesn't take us long to start killing people, does it? Really says a lot about society. Is that a grenade? John Clare, you haven't thought this through. You can join us. 
join us, I say, shooting them. Wait, how do I throw this grenade? What did you what you did to Lord Wright was barbaric. Perhaps I should show you how it feels. Fuck the grenades, I'm just gonna shoot. I found a shovel. Yeah, yeah, Junkle! It's Junklin' time! Everybody knows that you were responsible for what happened to Steve Cam. He's a good friend of mine, so I'll make sure you pay for what you've done. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's my laser rifle now, Junkler. For future reference, just assume everything you own is mine. Let that be the end of it, Junkler. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh god, this place is awful. Oh, this place sucks! Oh no! Take one of those off your hands. You don't you don't need surely you don't need both of them. I'm <laughs> missing a leg! I didn't even realize that. This is amazing. Th this like M Dicky is the best video game creator of our of, of our time. Anyone can turn into a zombie. May as well take care of the problem before it gets worse. Exactly. I'm just trying to jungle. Fucking Freddy Krueger? There we go. There we go. <laughs> no, I'm just driving my car in the subway. <laughs> Is that a Ghostbuster? Indiana Jones! Idaho Jones is, is it, oh shit, Solid Snake! There was a Solid Snake over there! This is absolutely amazing. Indiana Jones is in a car. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What is that fucking palm tree doing here? Somehow I'm still kicking. <laughs> no, I'm not! No, I'm not! He kicked my head off! Oh my god! Alright, chat, I, I could play this longer. Maybe another time. That was fucking insane. That delivered so fucking hard. He, he kicked my head off. Oh, alright. M. Dicky continues to deliver.
All right, here we go again, chat. I thought I had, like, music for this previously. I don't remember what music it was, so... That's fine. Ratus. Ratusi! All right. Again, it's just one of those games I have for some reason. And I don't know why or who got it for me, but... Okay, now actually this is the demo. So that's good because it'll mean we get a little uh, taste of the rat. It's already amazing. It's, it's so ugly. Go! Okay. So it's a bunch of prisoners. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to inject them with rat genes. <gasps> Mortimer! <laughs> yeah, go deal with that. This is the thing head. Was that Amazing start. I, Chad, I don't know what to do. E is, um, so action. I get it now. It's a, an awkward action button. I was pressing like A. <laughs> Is it just like, pick the right thing? Otherwise you die? Yeah, you just have to keep... Just keep doing it. Dude, have you seen the size of this rat? We can make a huge barbecue. We're fucked. We're definitely gonna die. Calm down, friend. It's our chance to try to escape this prison. So it's basically... Do the right thing. If not, you die, then try again. Got into the vents. Fuck, there goes our barbecue. Doesn't open without the access card. Let's try to go through the ducts like in the Alien movie. But in the movie, everyone who walks through the ducts dies. I've never played another world. Oh.
I mean, it's definitely entertaining. Above all else, I'm entertained. I like that Steam just has just millions of games. And sometimes you get something that's just like 10 people know about. I'm sure more people know about it because uh, apparently Manly Badass Hero played this one. But like once in a while you get games that are just played by a couple people and that's it. Tomato also played it. Hmm. Who's tomato? Well, it's either a fruit or a vegetable, I'm not sure. I don't know, chat. It, this is another one of those things where... Brain not working. You can sprint? Oh yeah, you're right, you can sprint. Hmm. It's Larry David. What, in that cell? Yeah. Speaking of, Chad, I want to make a statement that I am shocked and saddened by Larry David's Actions. I just recently found out that Elmo was a real whatever he is. I had no idea all these years. I thought it was just a dude like puppeteering some cloth. Larry David goes off script completely and says and and ch and does horrible things to poor Elmo who's just a child i'm saddened and uh, and shocked and horrified mortified and uh um exceptionally perturbed that larry david would throttle the real elmo completely probably unscripted completely th throttled crazy Got it. Definitely not a bit. Definitely wasn't planned beforehand. Definitely wasn't a way to promote Larry's new show. Or season of his show. Or anything like that. You shouldn't be here. Help us, Doctor. We need to get out of here. There's a giant rat out there. I can't let you escape. Otherwise, the government will kill my family. Give to us that valve now, you stupid oldster. <laughs> I'll go after him. If I'm not back in five minutes, call the police. Oh shit, dude went to the garbage. What the fuck? This has like, late 90s, early 2000s, like game maker, like, kind of vibes, or, or even like some, uh, some of those like, Windows 98 games I played, but it's just done way, like, better. Like another world. See, now I don't know what that is. Maybe I do. Oh. Tartusi, please. Need this. Oh. It 
was called Flashback in the U.S. I might have played a little bit of that then. I might have rented it. No, Flashback is a different game. Okay, then chat member was wrong. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I can't get out of the. Hmm. Why is this rat not saying Lucas? One more time. I forgot about that vent. You have no time to react. No time to react. <laughs> so little time. Oh, right. Mario tra uh, trained you for this. Mario took a shit in the upper portion of my toilet. I know it's too early, it, it, but the camera, the, the fucking camera's locked in such a way that it, it looks like you have to do it earlier. Elizarin said this demo is a few hours long. It's a few hours long. Okay. Hopefully the save file carries over to the full game, because... Some people are saying it's not a few hours, but it's like, you know, a little less than that. So, whatever, I mean, hopefully the save file carries over. I'm not planning on playing this, necessarily, but it is cool. And a little insane.
Huh? Alright, probably going to move on to the next game in just a second. Look at what we have here, a miserable little pile of secrets. <laughs> Get up right away and enter now, you bald men. <laughs> what? They got six, now what? It's no use crying over spilled milk, let's move on. This door is different from the others, looks like we need something to put here. They have to complicate everything, couldn't it be a normal keyed door? Yeah, help me go up, and you go down. Best dialogue I've seen all night. Cool futuristic prison with spikes on the floor. Oh. <laughs> God! Oh my god, oh my god, even individual pieces. Oh! It's just Prince of Persia now, yeah. Okay. It's a Brazilian dev, and it's been translated into English. Gotcha. How many more times are we gonna watch this dude get pulped? Alright, well, that... The answer is that many times. Oh. That's also pretty amazing. I should have probably just ended it there, honestly. That was the perfect way to end this game and move on to the next one. Speaking of Brazil, I did my uh, Brazilian snacks video. I just need to edit it. Brazil came to me. I don't understand. Dive out before the door closes, maybe. Yep, there you go. Ah, oh, you can eat shit. All right. So that's a weird ass game. Uh, I could probably spend the whole night just playing that, but we're gonna we're gonna move on because there's there's more game to play. But that that's a fucking weird one. There's a def there's a definite masochist angle to that game that I think some people would enjoy like doing the exact perfect movement. At least there's good checkpoints. Next. 
later on there's a rat orgy scene i don't don't tell me about that ever again thank you forest adventure no forest adventure So I just got this one today. It's the most generic ass title for a video game like ever. But there's a good reason why I'm playing it, which is it's also called Main Project 56 in uh, Game Capture. The depths of frog steam. The dank, dark depths of frog steam. Some of the frog games, like the cheaper ones that are on Steam, are remarkably silly. And or really uh, bad. And or completely royalty free. This is the most, yes, yeah, stock music I've ever heard. Is that your frosting texture? Close. Good thing this boulder goes up so quickly. Great game. Really cool game. Where's the sound effects, by the way? <laughs> the problem is, though, like, I don't, I don't know if it's like, Worth it to refund a game that cost a dollar or a dollar ninety nine? So I just forget to refund and then I have trash like this in my inventory forever. Can you throw a rock? Um, I've pressed every button and it, it does not appear I can throw a rock. Check settings? What settings? Mm -hmm. I understand now what, what I'm doing wrong. I it kept trying to jump to those spheres as if they were some kind of like thing that needed to happen. Like, if I touch the sphere, then I will go further. But it turns out that's, uh, bullshit. And these platforms are- what, what a- what a great start to a game. Chat, I don't think a human made this game. None of these assets probably are custom. The music is most certainly, like, stock music. There's no settings, like, there's no sound effects. No checkpoints. I, I hate this frog so much. Oh, it's bad. Main Project 56. Let's see. Positive. This came out in um, 2021. And the gameplay video on Steam is just the beginning of the game. Up until exactly what you saw. There is a way to throw rocks, chat. But I no buttons worked. There's actually, I think, a glitch in the Steam video. I'm not kidding. Okay, so so you get over here and then watch this. So he he throws the rocks at the slime. Oh, never mind. No, there wasn't a glitch. That was just another. I thought that was a slime congealing and like breaking. 
advanced graphics and gameplay forest adventure has very beautiful graphics and catchy gameplay i've never heard that before the top review is as follows as a frog myself this game is the perfect representation of a frog's daily walk in the forest from the lava to the green monsters i'm sure this game will be able to give humans a good understanding of a frog's daily life why is that happening where's that coming from where's that coming from Daily life and the ongoing war with the green monsters. Um, 0.9 hours on record. Game is a dollar, by the way. Second most recommended review is, I hope your computer cl science class is going well, bro. I am very much fond of the visual quality of this game. The attention to detail in the animations was a sight to behold. It's smooth, fleshy, squelchy, and delicious. Every facet of it feels visceral and alive. Where the game really shines, however, is in its music and sound design. The soundtrack is all of Kevin MacLeod's greatest hits with a dynamic music system that makes it so the further you progress, the more music tracks begin to layer on top one another. <laughs> The end result is a beautiful cacophony with some six or seven songs playing at once for six to seven times the enjoyment. All of this complements a brutal, often frustrating, but still rewarding experience that encourages lightning reflexes and patience, trial and error, much like we experience in our own lives. The gameplay is, at the end of the day, still quite simplistic. The main focus of the game is the overall experience. The music and visuals are a feast for the senses and one that I couldn't recommend enough to someone who wants to kick back and immerse themselves in a deep, albeit harsh, forest world. <laughs> Whew. All right. Let's do another spin. I can't even like bring in my uh, bring myself to play more of that. To see the uh, cacophony or hear the cacophony rather. Chat really wanted Gongo. This is Uncle Nook's Monster Emporium, and this is one of those games that I've had sitting in my inventory, I think, for a while. So I just went through and I was just looking for whatever. Whatever had a weird name. I, have, I think I have like a thousand games on my Steam inventory. So it's, it's a little crazy. Those who suffer are lost for eternity. Find the gold key. Find the white door. Okay. It does not appear I have played this in any form, but I guess we'll find out. I have zero hours on record. Great start. Okay. Professor Nook was a happy man. He was mischievous with a plan, something precious that he stole. Now he's headless, never whole. Well, this went from zero to a hundred pretty fucking quickly. It's like I'm playing Ratus. Empty? Empty. What 
is this game? Crutches? Now I don't have a camera. It's a roguelite? It, is it? Chicken. This game may have a slight volume problem. Ooh. Love that. Good old Bloody McBlood Eyes, my favorite video game character that I get to play as so frequently in games like this. Yes. This monster is unique because it makes you bleed from the eyeballs and nowhere else. But hey, a thousand cuts can still lead to death. game was, was better when I had the camera. I don't know where the camera's gone. If it is roguelite, or maybe it's like on my old corpse, I don't know if it's still there. Sporky's house of dump scares. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. I hear clucking and chirping. You can only choose one item at the start. I chose the crutches. Speed minus one, power plus two. Uh, power, you say. <laughs> and how do I use said power, I wonder. going in circles, man. I know. I was looking for, like, anything. Just anything of value or use. <laughs> Look at controls. Maybe you can punch. I've pressed every potentially relevant button. Um. Also, um, no controls. Chad, this is a thoroughly frustrating experience. War drum? Found a war drum. Stamina two? I mean, it's the cool part is is finding the like items that do a little extra whatever but um the rest of the game is kind of bad i think that door is locked i'm stuck in here with the chicken man but i can't kill the chicken man i can't run from the chicken man because the chicken man's fast um i'm really going around in circles
Vinny, you have a key. Equip the crutches as weapons. I do have a key, yes, I do. But that door was, like, boarded shut? Speaking of bored, I'm getting pretty boarded playing this game. Alright, I tried. I was looking at the mini-map, I tried a number of different things, but, uh, well, it's just another chance to play Gongo, which, by the way, is probably gonna be a little bit disappointing if we do land on Gongo. The Battle of Angels. Oh, I know what this one is. We're, we're close. I, Gongo is right there. I can feel it. Okay. We'll choose the English language. Uh oh. It's a little offbeat, but we like it. Look at the, the angels are dancing and everything. Oh, we no, we love it, chat. We all love this this song right now. So remember, you can see on the left, the Jesus saves. On the right is prostitutes now. <laughs> What do I do? Enter game or enter story? I don't know. Okay. Do we have a different song every screen? Why is there a plain, just plain ambient noise in my left ear? Can you guess who tyrants like Hitler and Bin Laden had as inspirations? You know, right? Yes, you can be a strong popular leader and even a religious one and be dead wrong. Oh. Do we have double drums now? electric piano is doing a lot of heavy lifting in the song. I hear a tractor. In the year of 1982, a friend of mine said she wanted to talk to her mother. I told her we cannot do that because your mother is dead. Well, that was a plot twist. She told me we could through an Ouija board. Since I had turned away from my grandmother's Christian religion and became an atheist, then I thought this would be harmless. There is no God, I thought. Therefore, any vain attempts to talk to her dead mom would be harmless, so I agreed. After a few weeks, I realized we could talk to spirits, and the bad thing was there were tons of them. Some kind of good, and other terribly evil. This went on for months. We had a real haunted house. Their home became a haunted house. They had nightmares. There are personalities. Wow, was I patterning my own personality on these invisible creature beings? Wow, no. Wow. 
one person explained to me that they, he wanted me to know his god of love named Jesus. I'm just gonna play the game now. Imagine I this getting claimed. Acquire the weapons necessary to defeat the enemy. Cocaine now. I see Al Capone on one of the LEDs. It says Mafia Bosses. Opioids on sale. Huh. Click this day to opt a spirit moment. What well, chat, I don't I'm actually a little frightened. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Hey, you partner. What? See the that fuck? pretty girl just standing there across the street? What, Meat Man? Go away. That is your next girl. Yep, she's all yours. Nobody will see you. Just go over there Meat Man, get please go. Get her, man. <laughs> right now. Right now. Oh, thank God there's an angel here. Special power will be awarded for her defense? What do you mean? Why would anyone make a game out of this? The winner of this fight determines the outcome. Fight. What do you mean? There's there's no punch animations. Spectacular. So many choices. Oh, okay. Game it doesn't lock the mouse in, so I just clicked the chat and my chat froze now because I scrolled up. Destroy Sorry if I accidentally him. fucking banned anyone. Finish him. Okay. I have one move. Finish him. There is no finishing him. Chat, chat, once in a while, you play a game, you're just like, I should not have played this. I should not be aware of this game's existence. This is not meant for a Sunday stream, like, haha, this is a funny game. Like, this is... I don't know what this is, and I don't know how to do commentary over it. I'm at a complete loss of words. Is there a game? 
Vunt, please explain. I don't know how to. I just don't know how to. This is from the devs of Zoo Race. That explains a little bit. had all that, huh? A hallucination will occur to stop these thieves. The winner of this fight? Oh, no. No, more fighting? No! Guy has stole a stolen fight. WoW armor? Yeah, I guess it is stolen WoW armor. Finish him! Chat, there's one button. Brutality. Finish him. Butcher. Destroy him. Destroy him. For a game that's like kind of about, you know, doing the right thing and choosing angels over devils or something. Hearing destroy him, finish him, him. Feel, feel a little antithetical to what's supposed to be conveyed here. Shocking. If there is such a thing being conveyed. I, I don't know if it's a shitpost. I don't think Shocking. it is. It, it feels like overly earnest. Finish him. Destroy him. I'm just gonna kill this devil here, and then we, we will move on to the next game. Angel wins. I just need to see their hallucination. That's it. Dinosaur asset Wire used. Music studio, Hook of Truth. One more. Someone just said, God, I love video games. I... There's a spirit that was upside down and glitched. I tried clicking on a number of locations and it didn't do anything. You just have to wait for something to happen. All these very real looking humans. Very real and not at all uncanny and frightening. Blessed are they who are given in holy marriage. A horde of ravens will come now and end, break this up. The winner of this fight determines the outcome. I'm sorry, did you say a horde of ravens? Fight! I, New fight I need you to kill me. Untouchable. I need you to kill me, Captain. Untouchable. Finally, I unlock a new move and I, and I don't even want to use it. Show the new move. That's it. That's the new move. 
Check, can you listen to that music? Left ear specifically. Destroy him. Destroy him. Guess we're doing a guitar solo throughout the whole song. Butcher. Spectacular. Guitar solo and like truck horn. Destroy him. Shocking. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked back in. This demon is using the power of prostitutes and gambling against you. Yeah, mafia, cartels, prostitution. Worst. Oh my god. Every single time you have to hear this dude say something and you get knocked to the floor. Knocked out. It's just, uh, it's unbelievable. Ravens invade wedding chapel. Yes. Yes. They still look happy. <laughs> <laughs> that mouth! Well, all these birds are just looking here for food because people are feeding them. Please, people, stop feeding them. I sent you down there for good works. And now, this happens? Um... Sorry, God? God, do you have a better microphone? Or you just have a USB microphone that you bought in 2005 and you've just been using that? That's fine, I guess. It's gonna be the wedding again, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is that jacket? It's got like the same property as oil. Ah! I will inspire a police car to come here. No police, let them fight to the death. I don't have the patience to watch the rest of this chat. I really don't. <laughs> but that scream was amazing. The the outcome. Fight. New fight move acquired. Next. Next. Chat, that is astounding. One, so one day on your way home from work, something happened. What? I told you I didn't do it. No! You died. Oh. Then you realized your city is not what you thought it was. Oh my. I'm at the pearly gates. Well, looky that. Who is that? That is your real enemy. Oh. Many people listen to him there. Whoa. That's an angel fighting. Was that angel fighting for me down there? Yes. Yes. He's fighting for you. The world you lived in was a supernatural one. Look at this other area of the city. Oh, they do sell some good rocks over there, you know? I know. And the girls Cocaine over now, hell yeah. Nice, too. Hell yeah. Your angel yo, yo, he's in the ground! The city. Okay, listen. Oh, no, Get he's kneeling. Angel. Sorry, he's kneeling. <laughs> I have decided to give you a second chance. Here. Why does it say beans, beans, beans on the wall? I'm alive again. Thank God I'm alive. Be an angel. Save uh, the people in your city. Play the game. Play the game. Now. 
Is this real? Is this real? Did I hallucinate this? Did they send a dinosaur hallucination at me? Beans, beans, beans. I don't know. This was recommended. So I played it. Amazing game. Waited years for it after the classic zoo race game. Randall is a, tree, a genius and should be given a Nobel Peace Prize for his work. One of the best game on Steam. 10 out of 10 best game. Best $5 I've spent in a long time. I am an avid speedrunner of the zoo race and this game's cutscenes do not disappoint. Absolutely recommended. I'd also like to show you the um, one of the Steam icons or like one of the banners for this game on Steam. Angel, devil, and in the middle is a cougar with a pirate hat and an eye patch. Play the game. No. <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was amazing. All right, let's let's do more. Let's do more gaming. Let's find more games. I know that the company is called Cougar Interactive, but it's just funny to me that that was just a funny title. That is a gun. You know what? That is a Price Master voice, isn't it? Chat wants Gongo. Pray to the angels if you want Gongo. Don't need to. It's Gongo. <laughs> it's fucking Gongo. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, Sphinx. It is Gongo. This is Gongo. Okay. Music is all right so far. I guess this dude is Gongo. Is this the Battletoads pause music? Sphinx. You wouldn't happen to have any idea where this game came from, right? Like, why I have this on my Steam list? I got achievement. I think the music doubled up. Also, I'm pretty sure I heard the Mario 3 sound. Oh god. Yeah, the music doubled. Oh my god, no! Well, it's like that frog game, we finally got to experience the cacophony that was discussed. That is a Mega Man noise. That is a stolen noise that... I definitely heard the Mario 3 sound then. Like the skidding noise when Mario comes to a stop. Oh, I have a god weapon. I didn't even realize. It's that. That's a coin from Mario! That's another familiar sound effect. So how many stolen sound effects are there in this game? I don't know, I can't I can't tell over the 10 pieces of music playing at once. Never any need to use your sword. This is just like my retro games that I used to play. Snake. Ugh, retro games. I think I just shit my pants. Me too, Snake! I love shitting my pants.
This is a wretched experience. <laughs> I guess no one played this as they were making it. No one made this, it's an asset flip top to bottom. What do you mean no one made this? It was generated? It's the same thing every time. Every time. It just spawned. Um, apparently these devs have like 120 games on Steam and they're all like this. How much was this? <laughs> it just so happens that this has the name Gongo. Is three dollars? Man, ninety-nine cents would be too much. What a disgrace to the name Gongo. You know what I mean? Like that name carries some weight where I come from, and it's just very disappointing. Jamestown Courier Frog, MD. <laughs> Alright, we got some more frog stuff. Oh, this one has a really, really good look to him. I like this frog already. So the game just starts. No title screen. Slowest camera ever. The frog has a knife. Is that a mech in the background? Just killed that dude? Sounds like turtles having sex. Wait, why is there a Metal Gear? Just randomly in the background. Oh, this is- this is bad. As usual, mouse not locked into window, so... whole of the playable area of the game. You can just knife everything. The camera gets stuck on everything. Has anyone seen um, the package? Oh, I see it now. Wait, that's not a package, that's a sign. Um. Chat, this is a fucking fever dream of a stream. Found- find the gold. So I found gold. And I got an achievement for that. That's not helping me figure out how to play this game. Oh, there's backyards too. Why though? Just random ball. Oh, that was the package. It says deliver the package. Doing some work on your roof there? Guess so. Is that the whole game? Just 
that and then do that again and rinse and repeat. You are levitating. Yeah, you're, you're pretty, yeah. I hate this gormless creature. I hate him so much. Someone said, I'm more of a gongo guy, personally. Chat, video games have all been destroyed, deleted, corroded. And you have a choice between two video games, and that's it, for the rest of your life. Gongo or Jamestown Courier Frog MD. That's it. Two games. A lot of gongos. A lot of gongos. Projectile dysfunction. <laughs> okay, listen. I've had this in my inventory for a while. This, I believe, is multiplayer only. So we're probably... Um, probably going to have a bad time seeing very much of this. Get chat to play. Well. You know. Didn't you play this? I think he's played this, either that or Jerma. I did play this? I might have, actually. It says I have six minutes in it, but I, I thought that was just me trying to figure out how to play the game. You don't- please don't buy this game just so you can play it. It's not worth it, chat. But this is why it's called projectile dysfunction. It's just a haha -ha funny joke. You have played this. Oh, okay. No memory of playing it on stream. I thought I just had it in my inventory. Well, for those that haven't seen it, you just saw all of it. Wait, you even got a link to it. How long ago did I play this? That's five minutes of my life I just don't remember. The floppy gun is kind of funny. I mean, it actually looks like a game. You can helicopter your gun. And that's, that's about enough of that. All right, great. Now I can get rid of these from my inventory. Let's do one more. One more. You told a funny joke during that stream, or was that the tumbleweed game? Splatter! Um... Yeah, no, that was uh, the tumbleweed game. I like how you can count my funny jokes on one hand, to the point where you're like, oh, Vinny made a funny joke one time. He made the funny joke while playing the, the cowboy game. So here's splatter.exe, or just splatter. Um, epilepsy warning, of course, and, uh... 
cult indoctrination. Wait, what? Scenes containing scenes? That was kind of funny. Is this going to be a cruelty squad like? This program contains 16 sessions. One can't press Q to heal. My husband is dead. <laughs> I don't want to remarry. I only want sex. See my pussy. <laughs> Cute ducks in your area. Duck is four miles away. fuck is this game? Please maintain an open mind. Do not be afraid. <laughs> There's a fucking testosterone and estrogen meter on the screen. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Ingest spew. Okay, that's a shotgun, effectively. Holy shit. Was that like data moshed? Probably should have saved that, right? Oh god, in-game data moshing. Um... Textures are warping with my camera. Norts? Is that you, Norts? Well, hmm, the splatter name is 100% accurate. Disc appears in the mezzanine. This is like a, a better attack. I do wonder how much Cruelty Squad influenced a number of these games, like this in Goblin America. Like, Cruelty Squad likes are now a thing. Just like the scummiest games possible. And, and Cruelty Squad didn't even create the genre of scummy games. I've been playing scummy games since 2010. So they've, you know, they've been around for a while, but like, Cruelty Squad got its own- <laughs> There's the roach again! Got its own fucking... Cock and ball turtle? <laughs> oh, oh no. 
Oh man. But Cruelty Squad ended up with like a, a really decently sized cult following. Is that a Rob Liefeld <laughs> parody art? <laughs> Man, I kind of want to just go around and explore the world a little bit because there's some pretty fucked up things happening. On the, on just the walls, there's like. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Vin the disco ball. Juice up now. I'm sorry. I was just paying attention to the environment and I I lost much of what I was supposed to do. Max Headroom. Yeah. I'm hearing, like, a voice saying weird stuff. Not that I'm surprised by the weird stuff, but... I sound like Ray Leno. Wrong time. I don't know why I shot those. I hear one and a half pounds. Is it someone just ordering like from a, a butcher or something? Like. This music is actually reprogramming me, uh, my brain chemistry. Insert thing you like here. Why you bring back? You're just gonna stomp all over. I mean, <laughs> you can apply that to a lot of different things, but you know which which star franchise is being referred to. They're fast. Oh shit, they're fast. Now I have the shotgun again. I didn't for a while, but now I do. You do have to make some choices with uh, which powers you choose. I mean, there's random for the sake of random, and then there's random for the sake of random, but I don't mind so much. I feel like that was almost warp massage kind of shit we were, we were witnessing there for a second. A door opens near the lockers. If I knew where the lockers were, that would be great.
I see. Oh, okay. You've beaten the level. New cosmetics have been unlocked. Level select. Session two, and then there's also session seven. <clears throat> Let me just check this one out for a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Welcome to the community. So glad you could make it. Settle in, settle in. Is that a big Is that an NFT? Mo, my ape is trying to get me to an arena. Take that, thank you. Chat, I don't know what I'm supposed to get from this. I guess it's kind of fun. <coughs> Coughing now. Because the games made me laugh. Earlier. And that roach, too. God damn it. Fine. God, that data mush. It, it's cool, but it's also... Like, it, it could kind of fuck you up a little bit. <clears throat> I could see people getting into this. I could see this being one of those things. Like, me, I'm more excited for Goblin America, if we're talking about weird fucking video games. Just because that one... <clears throat> I don't know, had... More environmental stuff going on. This is more arena. Good job. You're doing great so far. I knew you were the one we wanted for this project. You're reacting great, and you barely even. But this is—it's pretty good. The enemies are very the spongy. Numbers are crazy, kid. More than that, I got a gut feeling about you. I can just tell. The sky's the limit, baby. Oh You're fuck. Ah. Uh, is it Johnny? It's confirmed, Johnny. Maybe it is. We got... Is a dev confirmed in chat? Who is the dev? Look, look at these ads. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> this will make you come in a millisecond. You won't last five minutes playing this game. Holy shit. <laughs> this is- this is fucking insane. Punished Ocelot? Oh wait, no, 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 who's the dev? Hexo Art. Okay, hi- hi dev. <laughs> Your game is fucking insane. It's not Gianni, but he did play it a while back. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, you made me laugh hard enough that I'm now coughing, so... Really fucking nice work on this insane video game that you've made. Uh... I wish you luck with it. Genuinely. It's... it's pretty... it's pretty good. It's pretty... pretty good, and it's fun to play, and it also hurts my eyes. So that is good enough for me. Alright. Yeah, I don't really know if I could throw... Not that you're asking or anyone's asking for suggestions, but just, yeah, just continue. Add things, polish, uh, more pussy jokes. Um, I don't know. And just, just have fun. Really, just have fun.
anyway, it's called Splatter. And I hope you enjoyed watching it, chat. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the stream. And also Steam Speen. This was a good one. I get to clear out a lot more of my inventory. If you are aware of any Steam games, now that my inventory is almost completely cleaned of like really random stray games that I don't know what they are, if you have a suggestion for something, whether it be really low effort or like cynically terrible or just something that will be funny for the stream, please um, let me know. Vinesauce.email is the web page that you can go to to fill out the contact form. Usually stuff that's cheaper than five bucks. I feel like Steam Spin is probably a better segment for, I mean, once in a while there's good stuff too. I don't mind if it's good, as long as it's interesting and it's like a cheaper game, maybe something more obscure, not really well known. Let me know. Vinny, more enshrouded this week. All right, well, first of all, yes. Thank you again for watching this segment. Uh, probably not going to play in Shrouded this week because I'm having issues with it and because the leveling in that game is kind of bad for people that can't um, play a lot. And I don't know, I haven't checked my frame rates for the, for the game because they were terrible last time I played. There was some, something, some patch screwed things up. There will, however, be more Chrono Trigger and RimWorld this week. We are in the beginnings of RimWorld Season 3. For those that missed it, this is fucking true. We have a slime champ character who is a slime girl in the colony. We have Grey Leno and we have Chat, a character that is literally called Chat that looks like Chat. The Chat impregnated the slime girl. So we don't know what the baby's going to look like. And uh, RimWorld is going to get pretty weird, I think. So definitely stop by for that. And I'm also hoping to uh, do this week something multiplayer and kind of interesting and fun with a couple people. So maybe stop by for that. And also I'm going to be doing um, a bunch of demos for like uh, Steam Next Fest. For pre-records and that's going to end up being on my full sauce channel for those that don't know just vine sauce full sauce on youtube so i'm going to be doing all kinds of stuff like that all right <clears throat> that's it good night everybody and see you soon ribbit king will be next week take care i really 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 appreciate the support there's a ton of people here it means the world to me that people are stopping by to see me lose my fucking mind on video games where this happens for some reason. Um, thank you for those who have subbed as well. As I always say, I don't call out subs or anything like that, but just know that your support is appreciated, not necessary, but appreciated and very kind of you. So um, thanks. I think that's it. Oh, thank you mods too. And everybody who submitted stuff for the stream. Thank you for those that have helped make a Sunday stream as good as it could be and even better. Goodbye.